Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do <coughs> a nested VLOOKUP. That is a VLOOKUP within a VLOOKUP. And you would think maybe, well, this is, uh, why are you making things so complicated? Well, you're going to see in this very simple example of encryption that it's actually uh, quite practical and useful. Okay, I've actually come across it a couple of times, but if you do learn it, it will definitely uh, improve your skills and be something uh, that will come in handy. If you haven't seen uh, the introductory video on VLOOKUPs, I would definitely go through that video first. I'll put a link in this video and in the bottom in the description to that video. Uh, so you should definitely look at that before we, you jump into uh, nested VLOOKUP. Okay, so let me just give a little introduction of what we're looking at over here in this table. Well, we have a column over here called the alphabet column and we have two other columns a numeric and translated numeric okay so basic idea here is that we want to convert this each one of these letters here in the plain text box over here into this cipher text okay and what does that mean well let's do it letter by letter h okay we want to encrypt h using this table over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for H in this column. We're going to VLOOKUP is going to help us to find this H. When it finds this H, we want it to return the number 10, right? That would be one VLOOKUP, but we want to take it one step further. We want then to do another VLOOKUP that will take this 10, go over to this column, look for the number 10, find it, and go over and give us K, thereby encrypting the letter H to the letter K. Okay, so that's the theory and that's the idea behind what we're doing. And we're going to do that for each of these letters after H as well. And we know K should be the first letter, so we kind of have an idea if we're doing it right or wrong. Okay, so let me erase all this writing and let's jump right into it. So the first thing is, let's find that number 10 from the letter H, right? This guy right here. So equals v lookup what are we looking for obviously we're looking for h where are we looking for it well we're looking for it starting with the alphabet column over to the translated column let's lock this table i always do that with my v lookups when you find the h what do you want to do well i want you to give me this 10 which is the second column in this table right so we type 2 comma false meaning give me exact matches only now if I hit enter here this is one V lookup we should get the number 10 and we do okay but we, we don't want to stop at 10 we want to do another V we want it to go ahead and do the next step and get the 10 over here and give us the K so the way we do that is we go in front of this VLOOKUP. In between the equal sign and the VLOOKUP, we type VLOOKUP again. This time the lookup value is actually the previous VLOOKUP. Okay? It is this guy, which we already previewed and we saw gave us the number 10. So really you could think of this thing I've circled as the number 10. We're looking up the number 10, right? Except V lookup, except it's a V lookup, which has found 10. And we know that because we kind of did it in steps. Okay? So, V lookup, lookup value, the V lookup we did before, comma, where do you want me to look up? Well, start with this numeric column over here and take in the alphabet column. Let's lock that table as we always do our lookup, our table array comma when I find the number 10 what do you want well I want the second column so this would be our column one this would be our column two 
and so we would type two here comma false for exact match close parentheses hit enter and we should get the letter k and voila we do okay and we can drag this over to the right because our formula had the appropriate dollar signs absolute locked cells and we get the encrypted message core okay from hello we convert it to core now let's just check one of these letters L and L both give us O and O so maybe we check L so it looked up L over here it got the number 14 that was the inside VLOOKUP the nested one that was the first one we did then it took the 14 it went to this column it found the 14 and it got us the O and boom shakalaka we get the O and so we've checked the K we've checked the O I've checked it before it definitely works this is a nested VLOOKUP function okay so if VLOOKUP was totally new to you make sure you go and watch the video on VLOOKUP functions before you do this and if you haven't seen nested VLOOKUP you get to see a very practical example of where it would be used Hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, comment, share the video, and practice, practice, practice. Till next time, have a great day.